Hey, it's Darius. Scores are out. And congratulations to I-75ers who passed the CPA exam in the first score release of May. If you didn't pass, don't get mad. Get yourself on I-75 with me, Darius Clark, because the right teacher makes all the difference. I'll leave a space on here for you on the next score release. So you're likely to get a question on capitalization of interest on the exam. We know that interest is generally expensed as incurred as a period cost, but that's if you're buying an asset. What if you're building an asset, like constructing a warehouse, an office building, a factory for use in business? Then you would capitalize materials and labor, you would capitalize the overhead, and also capitalize the interest on any loan to help finance the construction. The interest during construction is added to the capitalized cost of the building and the interest cost will ultimately be expensed through depreciation. But not all interest is capitalized in construction. Do not capitalize if it's inventory being built. So do not capitalize interest on loans to construct inventory or loans to buy inventory. Anything to do with inventory, expense the interest. Only capitalize interest if you're borrowing money to construct a building for use in the business, like a factory, a warehouse, or an office building. Do not capitalize interest before construction or after construction. Only during construction would you capitalize interest, not before or after. And it wouldn't be construction without delays. So do not capitalize interest during intentional delays in construction. However, you would still capitalize interest during ordinary delays in construction. Delays that are intentional may relate to market conditions. And if that's the case, and you're stopping construction until the market improves, then interest must be expensed on the construction loan until construction begins again. Why? Because that's an intentional delay. So if on the exam, your client shuts down the construction, waiting for a better economy, then if they're still paying interest on the construction loan, expense that interest. But an ordinary construction delay, like a permit delay, inspection delay, you would continue capitalizing interest because it's an ordinary delay. But if it says it's an intentional delay, then stop capitalizing that interest and go back to expensing the interest until the delay is over. Let's try this. Medina Corp is constructing a warehouse for use in manufacturing. The capitalization of interest cost is appropriate during a construction delay that is A, intentional, B, related to permit processing or inspection, C, both, D, neither. And the answer is B, related to permit processing or inspections, because delays related to permit processing or inspections are ordinary delays, and interest cost would be capitalized during an ordinary delay. But A is wrong. Delays that are intentional often relate to market conditions. If that's the case and construction is intentionally delayed until market conditions improve, then interest must be expensed on the construction loan until construction begins again. And the question asked, Medina Corp is constructing a warehouse for use in manufacturing operations. The capitalization of interest cost is appropriate during a construction delay. That is, and the answer is B, related to permit processing or inspection because you can still capitalize interest during normal construction delays and let's face it that's what companies would rather do they'd rather capitalize something than expense it because if you expense it it hits the income statement in a negative way whereas if you capitalize it, it stays off the income statement and goes right to the balance sheet let's try this during the current year Hodge Corp constructed machinery for its own use and constructed machinery for sale to customers in the ordinary course of business. What do we call that? Something for sale to customers in the ordinary course of business. That's inventory. Okay, so Hodge Corp did two things. They constructed inventory, but right before that, they constructed machinery for its own use. So they built machinery for two different purposes, for their own use and for sale to customers. The Acme Credit Company financed these assets both during construction and after construction was complete. Hodge Corp should capitalize interest during construction rather than expense it. 
if the interest related to machinery built what? A, if the machinery was built for Hodge Corp's own use. B, if the machinery is being built for sale to customers. C, both. D, neither. And the answer is A, interest costs incurred during the construction period of machinery to be used by a firm as a fixed asset. That interest should be capitalized. But B is wrong. Interest cost on the manufacture of machinery held for sale to customers, that's inventory. That interest should be expensed in the income statement for the current period. And the question asked, during the current year, Hodge constructed machinery for its own use and constructed machinery for sale to customers in the ordinary course of business. So they wanted to know which of the interest costs could be capitalized and it's only on the machinery for its own use, not on the machinery being built for sale to customers. So the answer is A. All right, capitalization of interest cost is appropriate to finance the cost of items held for resale, like inventory, if the assets are A, self-constructed, B, acquired in the open market, C, both, D, neither. And the answer is D, neither. Do not capitalize interest on loans to construct inventory or loans to acquire inventory. The minute you see it's inventory, expense any interest connected with it. Only capitalize interest if you're borrowing money to construct a factory, warehouse, or office building for use in the business. And the question asked, capitalization of interest costs is appropriate to finance the cost of items held for resale, like inventory, if the assets are, and the answer is D, neither. They would be expensed. The interest on self-constructed inventory would be expensed, and so would the interest on inventory acquired in the open market. So any interest that has to do with inventory, just expense it. All right, the amount of interest that can be capitalized is based on accumulated expenditures. The amount of money paid for materials, for labor, for overhead. The amount of capitalized interest is not directly based on the amount borrowed. Whether you borrowed 10 million or 10,000, if you haven't started spending money yet for materials, labor, and overhead, do not capitalize any interest yet. Begin capitalizing interest when construction begins. When does construction begin? When expenditures for the building have been made, when the architect has been hired and paid, digging the foundation, buying materials. Activities have to be in progress. Permits and inspections are being done. That's how you know construction has begun. And that's when you can start capitalizing interest. Before that, interest has to be expensed. And after construction, you got to return to expensing interest as well. All right, Bar Corp borrowed $10 million at 10% interest and paid $2,000 in interest cost in January and in February. However, the company has not yet incurred any costs related to construction. What amount of interest should be capitalized? Is it zero, 2,000, 4,000, or an estimate based on projected future costs? And the answer is A, zero, because under US GAAP, interest can only be capitalized when all three of the following conditions are met. One, expenditures for the asset are being incurred. That means materials, labor, permits, these costs haven't been incurred yet. Two, construction activities are in progress. They're not, not yet. And three, interest cost is being incurred. Well, maybe the interest cost is being incurred, number three, but what about one and two? You've got to have all three of those to capitalize any interest. So in this scenario, although interest is being paid, no construction-related expenditures have been incurred yet, so no interest should be capitalized. All interest incurred to date should be expensed. And the question asked, what amount of interest should be capitalized? And the answer would be A, zero, because no construction has begun. So just remember that interest before construction and interest after construction would be expensed. It's only the interest during construction that could be capitalized. Let's try this. Maya Corp began constructing a building for its own use in January, so construction has begun. During the year, Maya Corp incurred interest of 30,000 on specific construction debt, and 10,000 was incurred on other borrowings. Interest computed on the weighted average amount of accumulated expenditures for the building during the year was 33,000. 
What amount of interest costs should Mayacorp capitalize? So clearly the total interest cost incurred was 40000 but that's not what the question is asking. They want to know how much of that interest cost should be capitalized. Is it all 40000 Is it zero? Or is it a number somewhere in between, like 33000 And the answer is C, 33000 Total interest incurred equals the interest on the specific construction debt, 30000 plus interest on other borrowings, 10000 total of 40000 Capitalized interest equals the interest on the weighted average amount of accumulated expenditures, which they give us at 33000 So you would capitalize the smaller of the total interest incurred, 40000 or the 33000 thus capitalized 33000 Letter C, because they want to know what amount of interest cost should Mayacorp capitalize, and you want the interest on the weighted average amount of accumulated expenditures. They gave it to us here at 33000 and that's lower than the total interest incurred of 40000 so we'll capitalize 33000 Letter C is correct. All right, new facts for this question. What do they want to know? What amount of interest should be capitalized for the year ended December 31st, year four? So we have a company obtained a $400,000 loan with a 10% interest rate January 1st, year four to finance the construction of an office building for its own use. And very importantly, building construction began on January 1st, year four. So construction is in progress now. So maybe we can capitalize some interest. Well, the project was not completed as of December 31st, year four. The following payments were made in year four related to the construction project. So we have January 1st, year four, purchase of land, 220000 And then we have October 1st of year four, progress payment made to the contractor, 250000 Hey, do you think it's going to matter what day in the year these payments were made? The fact that this payment was made January 1st, but this one was made October 1st, you bet it will, because they want to know the amount of interest to capitalize, and that's based on the weighted average accumulated expenditures. And they're not telling us what the weighted average of accumulated expenditures is, but they are giving us enough information so we could calculate the weighted average accumulated expenditures. Because then we can calculate the interest on the weighted average accumulated expenditures. And the capitalized interest will be the lower of the interest on the weighted average accumulated expenditures versus the total interest paid. And it looks like the total interest paid is going to be $40,000. $400,000 loan with a 10% interest rate. And the loan was taken out very beginning of the year. So the whole year, that interest would equal $40,000. Interest paid 40000 but what's the interest on the weighted average accumulated expenditures? Well, first we have to calculate the weighted average accumulated expenditure. And notice the answer is 28250 That's how much interest we're going to capitalize. Let's see how we got that. We start with the first expenditure on January 1st, the purchase of land, 220000 That expenditure was outstanding for the entire year because... It was made on January 1st. So all 220000 is relevant. But then there was another expenditure October 1st. Progress payment to the contractor. That expenditure is only outstanding for three months out of 12. And if you multiply 250000 times three over 12, 62500 is relevant. Not all 250000 is relevant. So now we have 62500 plus 220000 the weighted average accumulated expenditures, 282500 We want to know what's the interest on the weighted average accumulated expenditures. Well, what's the interest rate here? There's only one rate given, and that's 10%. So 10% of 2825 is 28250 That's the interest on accumulated expenditures. Okay, what do we compare that to? The 40000 paid in interest and we take the lower of the two. And 28250 will be the amount of interest to capitalize for the year ended December 31st, year four. Notice that they told us building construction began January 1st, year four. So from that day forward in year four, we have accumulated expenditures for purposes of capitalizing interest. But not all 
accumulated expenditures are created equal. The one made January 1st, that's outstanding for the whole year, but the payment made October 1st, that's only outstanding for three months. That's why we added the 220000 to the 62500 and got 2825 and then multiplied by 10%. Let's try this. Norris Industries is building a new warehouse in year eight. During year eight, they made the following payments to the contractor. So January 2nd, year eight, they paid $2 million. December 1st, year eight, they paid a million. Norris has a 10% three-year construction loan of $4 million. What's the amount of interest cost that may be capitalized to the warehouse account during year eight? And if you think you know, leave me the answer in the comments or community section. And if you found this video on capitalization of interest helpful and you want to see more of it and more videos like it, go to i75cpareview.com and get yourself on the right road to passing far. Get on I-75 with me, Darius Clark, because the right teacher makes all the difference. I'll leave a link in the description.